Uh, at ASCO this year, I had the opportunity to present on behalf of all of our investigators the, um, the results of the AZA or decidabine in combination with venetoclax data. Um, and so this was a frontline elderly AML population. Uh, 145 patients were treated in this phase 1B dose escalation and expansion study. Um, and it was primarily two different arms, uh, a backbone of either Videza, azacitidine, or Dacogen, with a, which is decitabine, with venetoclax dose escalation. And we evaluated cohorts of venetoclax 400 milligrams, 800 milligrams, 1200 milligrams. Um, and this is the um, kind of updated uh, safety and efficacy results. The um, primary objective and endpoint was safety, and then key, um, key secondary endpoints were response, duration of response, overall survival, and then um, other key endpoints were um, detection of minimal residual disease. So um, overall the study was, uh, in, well, I should say, Speaking about the patient demographics, um, this was an older patient population. The median overall age was 74. So when you're thinking about patients treated with elderly AML, um, certainly in terms of clinical trials, this is a, this is a significantly older patient population. Um, about half of these patients had complex cytogenetics or adverse risk cytogenetics, so again, a very high risk patient population. About 25% of patients have had antecedent hematologic disease. Um, and uh, overall, this uh, combination therapy was very well tolerated. There were no dose-limiting toxicities. The 1,200 milligram venetoclax cohort wasn't particularly well tolerated over time due to um, uh, just kind of uh, grade one, grade two uh, uh, side effects, primarily GI. And so the 400 and 800 milligram dose levels uh, move forward. Um, and uh, the response data is really um, quite dramatic, actually. We're seeing overall response rates over 80% in all patient populations, all of the cohorts analyzed, with a CR-CRI rate of, um, of over uh, 60%, and in particular in the AZA-VEN um, population, 76% uh, CR-CRI rate, which is really just incredible compared to by days alone and, and not things we've seen in the elderly AML population before. Um, responses are durable, so um, in, in every cohort looked at, responses were um, lasting at least nine months, um, and in many, in many cohorts hadn't been met by the kind of median um, uh, time of, of the data cut, which was over 15 months. And then overall survival, uh, of course, one of the most important endpoints in our AML patients uh, was 17.5 months, which compared to you know, any study we've looked at before in elderly AML patients, um, it's, uh, it, we've, we've been very hard pressed to ever get past that 12 month overall survival point. And so um, uh, that's been something that has been just really remarkable with this study. And in particular, again, looking at venetoclax 400 milligrams with Videza, um, a median overall survival that has not yet been achieved um, in this study, which is which is quite remarkable. And um, MRD data was also looked at, and um, overall, um, about um, a quarter of patients um, who achieved a CR, maybe a little bit more, became MRD negative. And again, in that specific Videza um, with 400 venetoclax cohort, um, the MRD uh, negativity rate was over 40 percent, which is which is again just remarkable and, and begs the question of you know are these patients having um, very durable and um, prolonged responses um, hopefully in the future uh, moving forward.